These are my tools to create awesome PS4 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Pride of Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to update your PS4 firmware that is running a low firmware version and update it to 4.55, which is the latest firmware file version that can be exploitable using the PS4 web exploit, which we'll talk about in a future video tutorial. So first thing you want to do is where can we get that 4.55 firmware file? So if you go online, go to sce.party. On the left-hand side, go to resources, and then go to firmwares. Once that page has loaded, scroll down to the 4.55 section. Click on it. It's going to take you to a new web page. Go ahead and click on the download button and download that to your desktop, for example. If you want to, you can also click on the info here. Here's the MD5 checksum. So using your favorite... ND5 program, and I'll have a link in the video description if you need one, you can double check your file to make sure that the checksum matches. If it matches, great. If it doesn't, then you probably want to re-download the file to make sure that you have a good verified file before we flash this over to the PS4 because we don't want to brick it by accident. So let's say you got your firmware file, great. And then what you want to do next is prepare your USB thumb drive or USB hard drive and make sure it's a proper file format. So on my Windows 10 machine, I'm going to go to my, my computer here. Here's my USB drive. I'm gonna right click and go to format. Make sure that you use FAT32 or XFAT. In my particular case, it's a small drive. FAT32 is okay. Once that is done, go ahead and make a new folder in capital letters, PS4, and then inside it, make a new subdirectory. Call that update, all capital letters. And finally, go inside that folder. And this is that PS4 update.pub file that we got from the online website. So take that file, put it on your USB thumb drive or external hard drive and then you're good to go. Next step you wanna do is go ahead, eject that from your computer, and then take that thumb drive or USB hard drive, plug it into one of, one of the two USB ports on your PS4, and then in the next portion of this video tutorial, we're gonna go through the process, it's pretty simple, and uh, there's no turning back from here. So my particular console, it's an old firmware version, which I'll show, and um, this should work, otherwise I'm gonna be screwed. So with that said, let's jump straight into the next portion of this video tutorial. Let's do this. Okay, so here we are in my PS4. So let's do this. So what we're going to do is let's log in into my account here, the local account Versatile. And once we're at the main X and B screen, I'm going to show you what my PS4 firmware is currently. And it's pretty old firmware. I'm pretty satisfied with what I have so far. And uh, later on, I'll talk about how I got this particular PS4. So let's go down and let's go to system system information and there we are 3.51 badass okay great and let me show you some other things too on my ps4 system as well so just in case automatic downloads all that stuff is unchecked okay i'm not connecting to the internet at all back out go to the network section and we see that i'm not connected to the internet and you don't need to be when you do this firmware update so my usb thumb drive is already plugged in so i'm gonna go to system software update here we are, following version 4.55, that's pretty cool. And then we're gonna go to next, go to update, and just follow the wizard. Um, and for sake of time, I'll probably edit portions of this update process to make the video a little bit shorter. So how did I get my particular PS4 on such a low firmware version? I actually got it off of Amazon, and I actually paid uh, um, probably more than what most people are willing to pay for probably. But I got a new system that was the Uncharted uh, four package, 500 gigabytes, discontinued slim. So yeah, you could probably get a, a new fat, but you're probably better to try and get a new old slim, discontinued if that makes sense. And uh, I'll have a link in the video description if you guys want to go on the hunt and try to find an old firmware PS4 because I'm pretty sure a year, a couple years from now, it's gonna be dang hard to find some. So probably now is probably a better time than ever trying to get uh, old PS4, that's something that you want to do, of course. And no, you cannot downgrade. There's no ground downgrade method at this point in time. So let me go ahead, edit parts of this video, and we will recontinue with the narration very soon here. Okay, so we are finished with the firmware process. So I'm gonna go ahead and press the PS button, log into my account, and let's just do some quick sanity checks here. So let's go to the settings basically, and let's go check out my firmware file, just to confirm. 
we got the nice installed display notification great and let's go down to system system information and yeah 4.55 awesome and let's just double check some other stuff real quick here automatic downloads yep it's still unchecked just like i left it before and let's go to network and we see that we're not connected just like before as well so that's today's ps4 tutorial if you guys have any nitpicky questions leave a comment here on the youtube page i'll get back to you as soon as possible once again thank you for watching take care bye